Hey, Eric. Hey, Nigel. How are you? What do you think about AI law? I love it. I love it. Um, Has it saved you any time? Absolutely. Uh, the other day, in fact, uh, I was getting ready for a client meeting. Uh, I set aside about an hour to review the file uh, and figure out, okay, what experts might I need in this uh, uh, lawsuit and discuss it with the client. I ran some basic facts through AI.law. I asked the question, what kind of experts might be needed for this type of lawsuit? It came back uh, within minutes, seconds, of listing about eight or nine uh, experts, three or four that I knew off the top of my head. And with enough time, I know I would have identified the others, but AI.law uh, did some of that legwork for me. It was great. In fact, I, I've been practicing long enough. I remember the day when we went from relying on paper research efforts. And we were able then, in law school, transition to using Westlaw or Lexis. Back in the day when you had line by line uh, populate the screen, and that was great uh, leap in technology. This is a similar leap in use of technology in the workplace in, in a law office. It's, it's that revolutionary. That sounds fantastic. Uh, what kind of lawyers do you think can benefit from this the most? I think definitely civil litigators uh, will benefit from this uh, service. Uh, it, it helps you uh, identify uh, what claims you might want to pursue. It helps you understand what uh, uh, claims or defenses should be pursued in a, a complaint that you've uploaded from the other side. It helps you uh, uh, look at a set of discovery requests from the other side, and, and it'll come up with a set of draft responses for objections. And I, I know it can take me uh, two hours at times to do some discovery responses. And using that uh, feature in AI.law alone, I know that's reducing the time uh, down to minutes, you know, 30, 40 minutes of uh, short, but it's reducing the time we need to respond to discovery requests. That sounds fantastic.